Winter, 1942. In a smoke-thick admiralty room, a wild idea lands. Build an aircraft carrier out of frozen sawdust, ice that bends, floats, and shrugs off bullets. If it works, convoys might outlast the wolf packs. They call it Piecrete, named after a preacher with a knack for improbable truths. Churchill wants audacity. The engineers want physics. The clock wants blood. Next stop, a frozen Canadian lake to see whether imagination can harden into a hull. Lake Patricia, Alberta. A shack on the ice, compressors chugging, hoses snaking into the cold. Sawdust plus water, frozen into a composite tougher than plain ice. They pour, freeze, and bolt together a secret raft. Proof a ship might be grown, not built. Scrappy, improvised, a little absurd, and working. Next comes the real test. Bullets, blowtorches, and truth. A shot cracks the air. Plain ice shatters. Picrete splinters, then holds. Threads of wood pulp catch the cracks, spreading force like grain and bone. It floats, insulates, resists bullets. On paper, a carrier-sized slab might be almost unsinkable. But ice loves to creep. It slumps. It flows. Could relentless refrigeration tame a mountain of frozen sawdust at sea? Picture it. HMS Habakkuk. 2,000 feet of winter. A runway on a glacier. Anti-sub patrols from a floating island. Near immune to torpedoes. Born of the very sea it rides. Inside a cold heart. Refrigeration humming through veins to keep the giant frozen. Designers sharpen pencils. Dreams widen faster than budgets. Awe meets arithmetic. Then creep sets in. Hairline cracks thread the mass. The cold can never blink. Refrigeration loads climb. Weight rises. Steel and cork linings stack up costs. Meanwhile, allied shipyards roar to life. Conventional carriers start arriving faster. Audacity bows to logistics and to time. The prototype melts back into the lake, leaving stories, notes, and silt. Somewhere below, the boldest wartime daydream sleeps in cold mud. Audacious, tactile, bittersweet. The moment imagination met unforgiving physics.